Hey Trap, so today I'm going to implement the AI backhand that when you take a selfie with your phone can decide whether or not that selfie was taken in the gym and log your workout accordingly. And I thought why not show you how exactly I'm going to do this. So this is the step that I'm working on. You take the selfie and it gives you a message that is based on whether or not it accepted your selfie or not. It's a rather simple thing to implement, but I thought I'd show you some tricks on how you can make it much more reliable than if you just rely on some very old school methods. Okay, so the first step would be to go into the playground of OpenAI, and I just chose OpenAI because it's the most familiar one, but you can also use Gemini, you can use pretty much any model. It's a trivial task. Then you need to come up with a good system message. So this is what you kind of in the background telling your model to pay attention to. For example, here it would be, you will be given two photos taken from the front and back camera of a phone and your job is to figure out if this person was in the gym when they were taken. So that should be quite trivial. Now all I need to do is get two photos to test this. And to keep it very simple, I'm just gonna screenshot what I already have here. There we go. And now I can attach this. Okay, I included this and I'm gonna hit run. I can set the temperature to zero because we don't have to be very creative here. It's a yes or no thing. But as you're gonna see, it's not gonna be a yes or no reply, which is a good thing though. The. Okay, that's not a, that's not a good run. <laughs> I think you wanted to say the photo was taken or the photo appears to be. The person is in gym, okay. Now this message alone is not enough. You actually need a yes or no, but that's where a two-step process comes in. You just ask it to say yes or no for the algorithm. And then your app just uses that text, either if it's yes, then this, or if it's no, then it does something else. Yes, want it, yes or no. And it should say yes. How's it, why is it so slow? There we go, yes. Could I have just asked it to directly give me a yes or no? I could have done that, but the problem is an LLM doesn't really think and then respond. It just predicts words. So if you just ask it to give you a yes or no, it's like using almost like minimal brain cells and chances are it's gonna give you a wrong response. So if you ask it to explain why yes or no, or just let it yap for a while, and then after that you ask it to turn it into yes or no, you'll have a much higher accuracy rate. It's a very clever trick to keep in mind. 